let's create another quick parameter and let's just call it sales rep. Uh, it's going to be um, it's a string value. We want it to show multiple values to let them pick multiple because maybe you've got a sales manager who's responsible for two or three sales reps and we'll want to check those two or three sales reps. Create. We'll add the control. This is where we call it what we want. Select a sales rep and I usually would do something like that and link it to a field or a data set which is the only data set we've got and then we'll link it to a field which is sales rep. Click add. So now here's our, here's our control. Remember the control is just that. It doesn't, it's not functional yet until we add it as a filter, but here I can see my sales reps. And so now we, last step is to add that filter. And we'll find sales rep because that's the thing that we want to filter. We'll apply it to all visuals on this page, on this tab. It's a custom filter. We're going to use parameters. We'll select the parameter sales rep. If there were more parameters you would, that haven't been used yet, you would see them in the drop down, and we'll apply that. And now when I look at this, let's say you want to deploy this dashboard so sales reps get to look at it, which is obviously what you would want to do. Uh, and I'm uh, perhaps Alan Kelly. Well, this is, Alan Kelly doesn't care about anybody else's business but his. He's looking for his commission and he wants to figure out what it's going to be. Um, it's interesting, Alan Kelly doesn't sell any corporate or home office business, just consumer related business. So this is not an error, this, this just means that he doesn't have those data sets 